Welcome back once again. In this part, we will work with login and registration functionality. So first open this registration activity and we can call it private edit text and we can call it m email private edit text m password private button is going to be button registration private text view is going to be m sign in and first we need to create a method we can call it private void we can we can call it a registration and call this method inside our on create method that is our main method and in here we can cast our input field and our button so m email is equal to find view by id r dot id dot email registration and m password is equal to find view by id r dot id dot password registration and for button button registration is equal to find view by id r dot id dot button registration and m sign in is equal to find view by id r dot id dot and that uh, what was it? uh sign up sign in here make sure that make sure that we added the exact same name now we need to add a set on click listener so button registration dot set on click listener so new on click listener and in here we'll work for our registration activity now we need to add a string variable so string email is equal to m email dot get text dot to string we will store our input inside this email string now create another string we can call it pass is equal to m pass dot get text to string dot trim and now we need to check this one so we can we can use if condition here and we would like to show these two fields is required so we can call it if text utils dot ecmt and email that means if user did not put their email address then we would like to show a message we can call it m email dot set error we can call it required field or if you want you can you can uh, you can add a toast message here but i would like to add this this alert dialog now we need to add if text utilt dot esmt and this one is going to be for password so now we can call it m pass dot set error and we can call it password is required now open this main activity in here we will add for our login so we can call it private edit text and we can call it m email private edit text is going to be m password and private not edit text we should add button so private button is going to be button login 
and the private text view is going to be and forget password and another text view private text view is going to be for m sign up here now create a new method we can call it private void we can call it login details and now call this method inside our on create method Now m email is equal to find view by id r dot id dot email login m password is equal to find view by id r dot id dot password login And button login is equal to find view by id r dot id dot button login. M forget password is equal to find view by id r dot id dot forget password. And M sign up fair is equal to find view by id r dot id dot sign up fair and make sure that we added same id name so our id name was sign up registration okay sign up registration Now we need to add three set on click listener. So first one for button login. So button login dot set on click listener, new on click listener. And create a string variable. So we can call it a string email is equal to m email dot get text dot to string dot trim string password is equal to m password dot get text dot to string dot trim if text utils dot is empty email then we would like to show a message we can call it m email dot set error and we can call it required field we can call it email required and return if text utils dot is empty that means if password is empty then we can retrieve and we can call mpass dot set error and we can call it required field or we can call it password required and to return
so we so we added button login for button login set it on click listener and we also need to add set on click listener for our forget password we also need but set on click listener for our forget password and already have a sign up button text view so m sign up here dot set on click listener new on click listener and we can call it start activity new intent get application context and now we need to create a new activity that it should be a, and so when user will click am sign up here then we need to redirect them to registration activity so registration activity dot class and we also need to create a new we also need to create a new layout and we can call it reset activity and finish and we can comment out here registration activity and this one is for reset password activity so m forget password dot set on click listener new on click listener so start activity new intent get application context and this one is going to be for our reset activity dot class so i think we did all this required field let's check all this thing once again so we design our layout and for registration activity we also need to add one more set on click listener for m sign in so we can call it m sign in dot set on click listener and start activity new intent get application context and this activity uh, is going to be our main activity dot class that means if user already have an already registered then we need to redirect them to our login activity and our login activity is our main activity dot class so main activity dot class so that's it for this part thank you